Well, Sean, congratulations. You're through to the Ladbrokes Players' Championship final. A 6-3 win over Mark Williams. Was that up there with your best performances of the season? Definitely, yeah. Certainly the way I started the match. You know, good long red in the first, cleared up, stole the second, another good sentry in the third. Um, you know, you start you start sort of having dreams of winning the match 6-0 and being back in the hotel. But, you know, you've got to keep your focus. And I, I probably didn't do that. I was probably a surprised that I'd made such a good start because it's not something I tend to do historically in longer games. But what a funny game because I was 3-1 up at the interval and absolutely livid with myself for not winning the fourth frame. We both had chances. And I was two or three shots away from winning that fourth frame. I was fuming with myself uh, for 15 minutes and... and Good, good thing was I managed to sort of get it off, get it out of my system before we, we restarted play. It's been well documented this week, your back and neck problems, um, but you've gritted out, you've got to the final. Does that give you extra pride on top of just the normal pride of getting to a final to have done it in these conditions? I suppose the problem for me is that when I go home and I'm saying to Elaine around the house, oh, my back's hurting, I can't do that, you'll have to do it, or I can't do this, we'll have to get somebody in. She can turn around and say, eh, hang on a minute, um, you know, he managed to do that. So, listen, I, I'm as surprised as anyone that I'm still here, stood talking to you now. I fully expected to come and get beaten by Kyron in the first round, try and put a decent performance in, grin and bear it, you know, injured man and all the rest of it. Can't believe I'm stood here talking to you about to go into the final and, you know, on a, on a complete bonus, really. All I can do is try my best and see what happens. The small matter of Ronnie O'Sullivan tomorrow, the third time you've faced him in a final this season. One all at the moment, I suppose something's got to give tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think when you play the best player to have ever played the game, as Ronnie is, um, I think you just know that you, you've got to play your best in all areas. He will test every single area of my game. Defensive play, safety play, tactical play, potting, break building. All I can do is go out there and try and get my house in order. Play, to, play the shots to the best of my ability. And if I do that, I'll probably get chances. But uh, it's not always easy to put the rocket away. It's been a really great season for you. This is your fifth final. But we spoke earlier about, or we spoke earlier in the year about your strike rate in, in finals. I know that's something you're slightly disappointed with, having only won one so far. Does that put a bit of extra pressure on you to try and cash in tomorrow? I, I mean, rather than see it as pressure, I see it as an opportunity. You know, growing up as a child, you don't have the aspirations to be consistent. No one wants the label of potentially good. This season I've had you know, four opportunities in finals to take trophies home, which is what it's all about, and I've taken one back. So there's definitely room for improvement. Of course, 120-odd lads on the tour would swap with you in a heartbeat, but we're trying to win, and uh, tomorrow will be no different. We'll both be desperately trying to get to 10 first, and um, I hope it's me. Well, it's set up to be a great final tomorrow. Good luck.